guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about dhcp option sets so basically dynamic host configuration protocol is a standard basically to provide networking information to your uh, tcp network so if you go to your vpc and let's select our vpc so this is our vpc and go to DHCP option set. So you can see that AWS by default, when you create a VPC, creates a DHCP option set with few options like domain name and domain name server, which is normally Amazon provided DNS server. So what if you want to use your configurations for this? Suppose you have your own DNS server, internal DNS server, which is running. You have your own NTP servers. You have your own domain, which you want to use. Because when you launch EC2 instances, you would have generally seen that it has a DNS something like EC2 EC2 internal dot X Y Z something like that, right? But if what if you want your EC2 instances to have a domain name which you want to specify? This is where DHCP option set comes in. So this is this is going to be a very short video. I'm going what I'm going to create is a DHCP option set. I'll name it my DHCP option set so since i don't have any of these like a domain name server ntp server netbios netbios node type so i only have a domain name which is example.com and if you want to use complete uh, uh, these settings you need to have all these in your this is basically when you are running your servers in an enterprise so in an enterprise you would have all these things since this is just a demo, we'll skip this and we'll just use a domain example.com and let's create the HCP option set. So it's successfully created. Once this is created, you need to associate this DHCP option set with your VPC. So if you go into your VPC, select action, edit DHCP option set. So you can see by default, it's using the default one. But I'll select mine and save it. Now I'm in my EC2 console and I'm going to launch an EC2 instance in my VPC. And it should get my domain. Select a VPC. Rest everything looks good. So we'll just review and launch it. Since we don't need to access this instance, we just need to check the DNS. I'll say I'll proceed without a key pair. I don't want to SSH into it. So I'll just come back when this instance comes up. So my instance is running now. And if I go to private DNS, so you can see this has my domain name, which is example.com, which I used. So this is this is it for DHCP option set. You probably won't, I mean, see it in exam. I just wanted to tell you what actually DHCP option set are. And one thing about DHCP option set is that once you create it, you cannot edit it. So if you want to make changes, you need to create a new DHCP option set. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Let's continue with our course. Thank you for watching.